It is finally happening. Africa is splitting into two to form a new continent. On the 28th of April 2023, residents of Nairobi, Kenya, experienced what felt like an earthquake movement, which created a massive crack in the landmass. This split was just a confirmation of the fact that Africa, the world's second largest continent, is gradually splitting into two to form a new ocean and potentially a new continent. The shift between tectonic plates has been ongoing for the East African Rift, a 35-meter-long crack in Ethiopia's desert that emerged in 2005. The splitting of Africa into two separate land masses is a geological process that is still ongoing and could take millions of years to complete. The process is caused by the movement of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface, which are slowly pulling the continent apart along the East African Rift System. The East African Rift System is a series of rift valleys that extend from the Red Sea in the north to Mozambique in the south. The rift system runs through several countries including Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. This system results from the African plate slowly separating into two separate plates, the Somali plate to the east and the Nubian plate to the west. As the plates move apart, the land between them sinks and forms a rift valley. Over time, the rift valley could continue to widen and deepen until it becomes a new ocean, separating Africa into two distinct land masses. This process could have significant implications for the geography, ecology, and human populations of the region. The East African Rift System, which is responsible for the potential splitting of Africa into two, is a complex geological feature that is still not fully understood by scientists. The Rift Valley extends for over 4,000 kilometers and is home to a wide variety of ecosystems, including lakes, forests, and grasslands. The region is also home to many unique and threatened species, such as mountain gorillas and African elephants. The Rift Valley is characterized by a series of faults that run parallel to each other, forming a series of grabbins and horsts. The grabbins are the low-lying areas between the faults, while the horsts are the raised areas. The most well-known of these grabbins is the Great Rift Valley, which runs from Syria to Mozambique and is home to several large lakes, including Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, and Lake Malawi. The East African Rift System is also geologically active, with frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The region is home to several active volcanoes, including Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Nyiragongo, and Mount Kenya. These volcanoes result from magma rising from the mantle and reaching the Earth's surface. How long until the continent eventually splits? The process of Africa splitting into two is a geological process that is still ongoing and could take millions of years to complete. While the scientific understanding of this process is still evolving, current research suggests that the rate of separation between the African tectonic plates is relatively slow with estimates ranging from a few millimeters to a few centimeters per year. At this rate of separation, it could take tens of millions of years or more for the African continent to separate into two distinct land masses. However, it is also possible that the rate of separation could increase or decrease in the future, depending on various factors such as changes in tectonic activity, volcanic eruptions, and other geological processes. It is important to note that while the splitting of Africa into two is a natural process that has been ongoing for millions of years, its impacts on the region's ecology, geology, and human populations could be significant. What would be the impact of the splitting? The splitting of Africa into two separate land masses could have significant impacts on the region's ecology, geology, and human populations. Here are some of the potential impacts. Formation of a new ocean. The separation of Africa could result in the formation of a new ocean as the two land masses move further apart. Over time, this could have significant impacts on ocean currents, weather patterns, and marine life. Loss of biodiversity. The separation of Africa could lead to the isolation of plant and animal populations on either side of the Rift Valley, potentially decreasing biodiversity on both sides. Some species may be unable to adapt to the new environments created by the splitting of the continent, leading to local extinctions. Changes in climate. The East African Rift System is a major driver of climate in the region. The separation of Africa could alter the circulation of ocean currents and winds, leading to changes in precipitation patterns and temperatures. This could have significant impacts on agriculture, water resources, and human settlements in the region. Formation of new ecosystems. The formation of new land masses could create new habitats for species that were previously restricted to one side of the rift. These new ecosystems could support unique and diverse communities of plants and animals. Disruption of migration patterns. Many species in Africa migrate across long distances to find food and water. The separation of Africa could disrupt these migration patterns, making it more difficult for animals to find the resources they need to survive. 
Impacts on human populations The splitting of Africa could create new borders and political boundaries, potentially leading to conflicts over resources and territory. It could also affect regional trade and commerce as well as access to water resources. Which countries would be most affected? The potential splitting of Africa into two could affect several countries in the region, including Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Mozambique. However, it is difficult to predict with certainty which countries will be most affected, as the process of splitting is a complex and ongoing geological process that could occur over millions of years. In general, countries located along the East African Rift System are likely to be most affected by the potential splitting of Africa into two. These countries are already experiencing frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which result from the movement of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface. How can scientists and policymakers prepare? Preparing for the potential impacts of the splitting of Africa into two will require a coordinated effort between scientists, policymakers, and local communities. Here are some ways that scientists and policymakers can prepare for these impacts. Research and monitoring. Scientists can continue to research the East African Rift System to better understand the processes driving the potential splitting of Africa into two. They can also monitor the region for signs of significant geological activity using methods such as GPS and seismological monitoring. Ecological planning. Scientists and policymakers can develop ecological plans for the region. These plans could include measures to protect biodiversity, such as creating protected areas and wildlife corridors, as well as strategies to manage the impacts of climate change and habitat loss. Disaster preparedness. Policymakers can develop disaster preparedness plans for the region in case of volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, or other natural disasters. These plans could include emergency response strategies, evacuation plans, and measures to ensure access to food, water, and medical care. Infrastructure planning, as the splitting of Africa into two could create new political boundaries and affect regional trade and commerce, policymakers can plan for the development of new infrastructure such as roads, bridges, and ports to facilitate the movement of goods and people between the two land masses. Community engagement. Finally, it is critical to engage local communities in the preparation process. Scientists and policymakers can work with communities to develop plans that take into account local knowledge and priorities and ensure that the benefits and risks of the process are shared equitably. By taking a holistic and collaborative approach to preparation, scientists and policymakers can help to minimize the negative impacts and maximize the positive outcomes of the potential splitting of Africa into two.